It's a rainy Saturday day here in Northern California, and I have got a new knife to show. We're here in the shop. I have my trusty helper, Baxter, with me. Baxter, say hi to YouTube. Okay. There you go. He says it. Uh, so last review was a Spyderco. Today is a Benchmade, the North Fork Folder Blue Class, as it says. Uh, just picked it up. Now, a little history about myself, I guess. Uh, I've never owned a Benchmade before. I usually don't splurge on like high-end uh, luxury kind of things. I have always had other commitments and responsibilities and adulthood has, um, you know, come into play. So, I found myself self in a position here to buy a Benchmade. I've always wanted a Benchmade, but I've never owned one. So it comes in that cool box. You can see the uh, sleeve that it comes in, the foam, a little instruction manual. I don't care about instructions. I don't need stinking instructions. This is cool, and I didn't know this about Benchmade. Uh, Benchmade Life Sharp. You send it back to Benchmade. They will sharpen it, inspect it, uh, change out any wear components free of charge. They used to charge uh, $5 shipping for return but I think they've waived that now so here it is this is the North River I'm sorry North Fork folder has the axis uh, lock as you can see there this wood um, is I, I think it's man-made I it might have wood um, impregnated with resin fibers or something um, but what I really like is that it's the S30V metal I don't know if you can see it there but um, it will hold an edge for a long, long time. It feels good. I mean, the the uh, action is good. It's it falls down. You know, when I pull the lock, I'm just under the weight of the blade. A little jimping right here uh, for your finger. More jimping up front. You know, for if you really got to get in on it. This is. Um, kind of their hunter series for uh, skinning game, you know, and whatnot. Um, I don't know if I'd use it for that, personally. It does have a little, little curve to the blade here, which is nice for skinning. It makes it a little bit harder to sharpen, and yeah, that is sharp. Uh, but, you know what, um, I'll probably just, if it's free, I'm going to just send it back to the factory, especially with the S30V that doesn't need sharpening um, quite as often as other uh, metals might might need so overall it looks really good uh, it's just I don't have a ruler around here let me grab one come on down here so it is almost yeah, seven inches open it's about a three inch blade four inch handle uh, thickness you're looking at about half an inch thick a uh, great little everyday carry knife we can switch the handle from this side to this side it doesn't have the four points but you can switch from side to side a little lanyard hole right here that's pretty cool I like that and uh, yeah great little knife I will put it through its paces just like the spider co that I'm working on and let you know how I like it after you know a month or so but right now I can tell you it feels really good the metal feels solid feels uh, nice and uh, and sturdy real stout so so far I give it a thumbs up I'm happy with it you happy Baxter hey you happy well, you're in the shop, so you got to be happy. So, all right, say goodbye.